while still speaking about Zimbabwe, I have a Zimbabwean national who's in the country working with Action Aid, and that is David Manyonga. Good evening and welcome to NTV tonight. Good evening and uh, good evening, viewers. Let me ask, when was the last time you were in Zimbabwe? Uh, I was in uh, Zimbabwe three months ago. Three months ago? Yes. What are we missing? We're looking from outside in, and we're thinking Zimbabwe is a hard place to live. Zimbabwe has been under this whole dictatorship. I mean, there's nothing possibly going great for Zimbabwe. Well, uh, I think uh, definitely Zimbabwe is going through a very difficult time at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, which has been witnessed uh, throughout uh, the screens that we've been seeing. Uh, but sometimes uh, we are missing the kind of context uh, that has led us to be where we are, mm -hmm. and probably a bit of the uh, power analysis of the players that are trying now to resolve this impasse that has uh, gone on for, for some time. Uh, I think there's need to be able to anchor that this problem is a problem that has gone on for, for so many decades. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have witnessed the different factions and I think by now people are informed about uh, the past events where the vice president was fired and there were factionalism within the country. But the bottom line is that uh, there's a lot of uh, euphoria, a lot of happiness from the people who have been waiting for a long time to, to be able to see change. David, if I'm waiting a long time for something, mm. especially when it comes to, because politics is a sensitive matter. Yes. And we've seen over the years that our continent has shown us mm. that nothing is ever bloodless. Mm. Why is this, as you called it before the, when we were off air, a cool coup? Well, this is a cool coup uh, because it's difficult to say it's a coup. The military has not really taken over outrightly. Uh, a total coup is when the military takes over, they run the show, they take the decision. But the functionality of some aspects of government are continuing. And also, it's a process they are trying as hard as possible to adhere within the constitution and the laws of the country. So it becomes very difficult to say it's a cool. Uh, so people have been saying this is a cool, cool. But at the end of the day, I think what is important for us is to look exactly at the shifting of power that is about to happen because the expectation of everyone in now is that yeah. we are going to have a new start, a new beginning Bef for the country. Before we talk about that transition, yes. when, I mean, we've looked at our continent, when has the fine print of the constitution or the law stopped the military or anyone else to do what they want to do? What makes Zimbabwe a different story? Why are we following the fine print of the law? Zimbabwe has always had this uh, unique uh, case that, you know, the context is so different uh, based on its history, uh, based on uh, the context of how the current ruling party came into power. I mean, one of the last countries to get liberation mm -hmm. struggle, uh, to get the independence after a very protracted uh, conflict. Yeah. So it has those dynamics that uh, have always been lingering around. A lot of imbalance uh, mm -hmm. which we saw over the land issues which spilled over to the current uh, economic and now political crisis that mm -hmm. we meet. So those dynamics really make it very difficult for one to come outrightly and say, well, this, this is, is what cool. I'm pleased to do. This is what we're supposed to do. But okay. uh, I think the important part now is now the convergence that has happened mm. where the ordinary people, the political parties, the different voices are saying now, this is an opportunity that we should seize and be able to transform mm. and bring back the Zimbabwe that we want in terms of uh, mm. uh, the liberties and democracy. Let's wrap this up. Before we talk about whether you really feel there will be a good transition, mm. um, what's the worst that could happen? In this situation? Well, the worst that can happen is that this situation can prolong for a long period and then it brings a lot of uh, anarchy. Mm -hmm. Right now, things are beginning to, to, to go out of here, and the University of Zimbabwe and uh, universities are closing. Mm -hmm. The worst is that they can be fighting from the different factions without an agreement. That could be the worst that can happen that the government is no longer in place and we are mm -hmm. in a total constitutional crisis. Okay, and the transition, is it really, are you just glad to see a change, whatever change it is, good or bad? No, not really. It changes to be within the principles of, yeah. for, because we are setting a precedent, not only for Zimbabwe, but we are setting a precedent for Africa. The transition need to be within the realm of the law yeah. and also be inclusive in the sense that we have to ensure that those people who have suffered injustice are brought to the fore. Yeah. The human rights are beginning to be expected because the same people we are removing today in 1980 we were welcoming them as heroes as our exactly. victors, and they ended up enslaving us. So we no longer want to repeat that kind of thing. We really mm. have to make it right this time. So that's why everyone has got this euphoria that this is an mm. opportunity that we cannot miss. Definitely. We have to grab it by two hands and be able to do things right. And I'm sure mm. the region, Southern Africa, 
SADAC, Africa Union, and all those players that are on the ground are trying to do that. Yes. At the same time, we're also calling on the opposition, the common voices, the religious leaders, to be able to push a sort of a citizen manifesto mm. where we can redial and go back again to be able to respect uh, the Each tenets other, yeah. of uh, uh, the rule of law. But it has always been a protracted process in Zimbabwe, uh, given the layers of the complexities of the players at hand and uh, the diehards as well. I tell you, thank you so much, David Monyongo. The world is watching Zimbabwe. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. Yes.